Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make this what's known as a triple cube box card. So I actually saw this come up on one of the Facebook craft groups and when I looked in the comments because people were asking how to make it they said that they just looked up, um, they said the name and they went onto YouTube. So I had a little look and there's a few people that have made them but the one that I saw and that was from you know the the oldest one I guess was by Iced Images and um, and that's what she's called it there so I didn't actually look at any of the tutorials because I'm able to just work out exactly what it is because this centerpiece is my floating pop box or the pop boxes that I've done and it's just two extra pieces on the front so it's really really straightforward to do but it really does pack a punch I think I think it's just got such a great profile and um, the whole thing folds flat and this will fit into a six by six envelope and I've made sure that I've got this from a piece of 12 by 12 cardstock um, but you can easily adapt this once you see how straightforward it is it's very you know, easy to change on the back you've got lots of room to stamp and write your message I've got this floaty sentiment here that I've added which I've done the same way as I've done on my pop boxes in the past so yeah it's really straightforward very fun bright and colorful so let me show you how to make it Okay, so the colours that I've used for the sentiments for today's, I've used the Ocean Blue Quick Dry, and then this is the Fuchsia Quick Dry, and that's the Harmony by Spectrum Noir. And then I have used, for the sentiments, I've used the Birthday Wishes here, which is the Woodware Big Birthday Words, which I've used so many times, I love it. For the oval dies, I've used the Card Making Magic A5 oval dies, and for the papers, I've used my 8x8 paper pad, and it's the Party Paper Pad, and I've just pulled out all different. I actually used a lot of my scraps for this one, because the pieces you need are actually quite small. So we'll talk through all the mats and layers in a moment. It's pretty quick to do as well. So you can see here how this was a piece of... 12 by 12 okay and then this is actually a, I had scrap in this color but this could be white you know it doesn't have to be the same color as what you've got there but you basically want to score so you want to cut it down so you have one piece that's 6 by 12 okay and you're going to score along the 12 inch side at 2 and 7 eighths of an inch all right 2 and 7 eighths of an inch 5 and 3 quarters 8 and 5 eighths of an inch and 11 and a half okay then you want to cut these two pieces here which are so it would be you know you'd have another 6 by 12 piece cut off from this but you just want to shrink this down a little bit because of the way that I've scored this to have that half inch tab you end up having your squares as being 2 and 7 eighths of an inch squared because that's what this first panel was because we scored there at 2 and 7 eighths so you need this to be 2 and 7 eighths of an inch by 12 so you just want to just take a little bit off of those two there and then again along the 12 inch side you're scoring exactly the same again so it's 2 and 7 eighths of an inch 5 and 3 quarters 8 and 5 eighths and 11 and a half and do that twice okay and then this little piece here is just to help your sentiment pop so this is a little piece here which is three by half an inch and along the three inch side you just want to score at half an inch one inch two inches and two and a half okay and then for the mats and layers where well, I've got my scoreboard out so a lot of this is optional I've got it here so I've got ones for inside here now you may choose to just keep it plain it's entirely up to you but I've got these here so I've got two pieces of the holographic card for the matte layer which is two and five eighths of an inch by five and three quarters and then my pattern paper so the layer on top is two and three eighths of an inch by five and a half and you want two pieces if you want to do inside if you want to do the white piece for you to be able to stamp and write your message on the back you'll want two in white of that original size that larger size that I just gave you there and I've already got my two pieces prepared then these two here are more of a rectangle than they are a square and that's just for the top two here and these ones are two and five eighths of an inch by two and seven eighths of an inch and then the pattern paper is two and three eighths of an inch by two and five eighths of an inch okay then all of these are just standard squares now I've got eight in total I've got four with this print and then four with the stripes but you'll want eight matte layers that are two and five eighths of an inch squared all of these measurements will be in my blog and then the pattern paper is two and three eighths of an inch squared okay so just decide what it is you want to use there and then that's my 
sentiment there which I've done in that blue with the orange matching card again I just had some in my scrap but you could do that with the holographic card and it would look really nice okay so first of all you want your larger piece well you're going to do it on all of them actually you just want to fold and burnish the score lines okay and then we'll do these two strips first of all so it's just like you were putting a box together you just want to add glue or double-sided tape it's up to you just on your tab fold that over and then fold that one and while that one's drying I'm just going to do the same with the second piece okay so you'll have two pieces like this and then we're going to do the same with this piece now you might want to stick these pieces in before you put this together if you want it you know it might be a bit easier because what's going to happen is this one we're going to stick together and I'm going to have it on the side so that the join will be here so you won't see it in there and you won't have that join on the front either it's going to be on the side with the top with this piece over this piece okay so these are going to stick inside here so if I open it up there's that half inch tab we've just burnished up this way you want to stick these two inside here so I'm going to do that now okay and now you can pop glue on your tab and then just fold that piece right over and then when we open it up you've got your pattern there inside and you've got that tab there which you're not going to notice now on my pop boxes I'll link that tutorial if I haven't already but before I stuck it together I cut an aperture there so you had something um, floating in the inside with some acetate it looks really cool so now with these pieces here you want to, again to have the tab piece so you can see where mine is here that's going to be at the bottom facing me so we're going to stick that piece onto there so again that's where my tab is you can see there we go it's just folded and stuck there that's the bottom front all right so I'm going to pop my glue on the back here and then if you want to keep it up this way and then stick it like so that way you know you've got it flush with the bottom or you can lay it down make sure it's flush with the bottom You don't need to worry about the tops when it folds it's slightly shorter because of the measurement so you know you're not going to have anything overhanging there. Just make sure that you get it nicely lined up so they stick either side of the score line there and then again with that one just make sure I've got that tab facing me. Again if you're using the Kalau glue this will really become a very strong card. You just want to make sure they're nice and flush with each other you fold it up you can you know wiggle it around just make sure they're both sitting nicely like so so while that's all flat I'm flipping it over and I'm going to stick down my white pieces you might want to do another pattern paper on one side but um, again you've got lots of room here if you want to have a few other people sign it you maybe print you, know, you might want to print off something to go on one side of it it's entirely up to you and then I'll flip it back over and you can see now how it all comes together. It's really cool and it will naturally you know, sit like that. So now you want to get those two kind of rectangle sizes and those are going to stick here, like so. And then all of the other squares will cover the two on the front here and then the two on the inside, so you can see there. If you want to cover here as well you can if you want to cover underneath there you can you'll just need to cut some more but I'm now going to go and get all of these stuck down okay so they're all stuck down and then I can just fold it up that way and just push down on everything okay now while that's drying you've got this piece here where we've scored so you want to you want to burnish so that you've got the two outer score lines are valley folds like so and then the inner score lines are mountain folds so it should all fold in like that that's how you want it to look okay then you're going to keep them together like this so that you want the ends here you're going to put glue on there 
If you want to use, you know, just a little bit of uh, red tape or something, you can do it. I'm just putting a very small amount, and you're going to stick this so that it's in the middle of this score line here, and it's right across the score line there. So I'm just going to lay that down about there. If I bring it up now, can you see those two sides are stuck? across this score line here and it means this piece now is free for you to stick whatever you want on but it will always face you when you open up the card so then I'm just going to pop again make sure that is stuck down but I'm going to pop another little bit of glue just on the top there and then with my sentiment I'm going to just sit that down and just make sure it's in the center of this part here Okay, so now you can see that just wobbles about, but it will always stay nice and centred in the card. So it all folds up flat, you've got all the space on the back there to write your message, and when they take it out of the envelope, you know, it's pretty self-explanatory what they do and how it looks. And uh, yeah, I think it displays really, really well. So there's the other one. Love the colours, love these papers. And I think the sentiments really work well as well. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it. I'll link everything below as always, and I'll be back again very soon with another tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye.